Hey, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Big Dizzle 75 coming at you again with another food review. If you like what you see, be sure to comment, like, subscribe, jump on the journey, and let's get through it together. Hope you guys are having a happy holidays this season. Got a little four-day weekend going on. Figured I had some free time on my hand. And today, we are going to do Sonic Drive-In. Now, as far as fast foods, Sonic is a place I don't go to as much. Um, we have one here in my hometown of Vacaville, California. We've had it here since 2009. Before that, the closest one was in Woodland, California, which is in Yellow County. That's like a 20-minute drive from Vacaville. And whenever I had a craving for Sonic, that was like my, I guess my Harold and Kamar go to White Castle. Whenever I had that craving for Sonic, you know, I will just hop in my ride from Vacaville, drive down to Woodland and, you know, you know, just get that fixed. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Um, You know, but since it's been here, I only go every so often, but. Um, I, I know I went a few weeks ago and got like some of their buffalo popcorn chicken, which was pretty good. And then I see they had a um, few new menu items. So I figured, hey, let's go ahead and check it out. So today I got not one, not two, not three, but four things to review. So let's see what we got. So I'm going to break down the little receipt for you. Um... First off, today we're going to do a hickory barbecue cheeseburger that runs for $5.79. And then you also got one garlic butter bacon burger, uh, cheeseburger, just says burger, uh, which is $6.79. And then you got some pickle fries. That seems interesting. Um, I got a small for $3.99. And then I got me a 44 ounce um, cherry slushy with some nerds. So you add all that up, that's $20.76. Uh, California tax, $1.69, which came out to $22.45. Prices may vary. And I also um, left a little $2 tip for them. So let's get like right into it, shall we? All right, let's see. Okay. Okay, so there's... Both burgers are wrapped the same, and I, I'm looking, and they don't say which is which, so I, I guess we're just going to have to go with the flow. So uh, these are the two burgers, the Hickory Barbecue Cheeseburger and the, um, the Garlic Butter Cheeseburger, whichever one. Okay, we got that, and then these are, I guess, your pickle fries right there. See it? Ooh, look nice. You know, they say they just cut them all like French fries and just frying up, and there you go. And, um, you know, got their little signature ranch sauce right there. Excuse the lighting if it's fading in and out. I was going to, um, cause where I live, um, my parking space has like a little thing over it and the lighting was perfect. Like, especially for around this time of day. But the problem is on Fridays is that the landscape guys, um, they have like blowers and they're blowing the leaves and all that. So it's just making a lot of noise. And I didn't feel like, you know, dealing with that today. All right. Without further ado. Let's eat some food, shall we? All right. I think I'll go with this one first. Let's see. This one is... Oh, hey, this is bigger than I thought. <laughs> this looks like... Okay, I think this is the, um, the, the Hickory Barbecue Burger. Okay, so here you go right there. Looks. Let's see if the inside's working with. Yeah, yeah, this is the barbecue one. See that right there? Little lettuce, um, little pickles, 
a uh, little raw diced onions. And um, let's see if I can want to make a mess or we'll see if I can. Okay. Yeah, that, that cheese stuck on that bun. See, look, I'm, I'm trying to. It's, it's, it's stuck on there. <laughs> All right. Anyways. All right. So. Oh, God, onion. I'll get to that in a second in case I'll, I'll speed you up. But anyways. Here it is, the Hickory Barbecue Burger. Let's see if I can get a little pickle bite in here. Got napkin, Jay. <laughs> All right. This burger was, I don't know why I thought this was going to be like one of them mini burgers. This. This is a, um, yeah, this is a quarter pound. I think both of these are quarter pounds. Um, yeah, okay. Pretty nice bite. You know, you see like, um, got your little meat action. Um, meat's a little thing, you know, but it's nice and tender. Um, you know, got your, I, I was a little skeptical of trying this because, um, you know, Mayonnaise combined with barbecue sauce, even though. Sorry, I had a little foods in my. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> you know, you know, the little combination of like mayonnaise and barbecue sauce. So I was, you know, a little skeptical of that. But um, at least to me, the flavors don't seem like they're clashing with one another in a in an awkward way. You know, so it's not bad. And, you know. The pickle gives it a nice zesty taste to it. And then you got the onions, which if you watch my last video um, with the Habit Grill Burger and I had the um, I had the char dog and I had grilled onions on it. And I explained, you know, my love hate relationship with onions. I mean, if they're grilled and they're sauteed or like green onions. I mean, I like those, but I'm not really a fan of raw onions too much unless maybe um, I'm eating Mexican street tacos. And for some reason, I don't know if it's because of the, the onions with the cilantro, but uh, it, it's just a nice combination for me. And that's like one way you can get me to eat onions other than like the sauteed grilled or whatever. Uh, these are raw onions. They're chopped up. And it's actually not bad. I mean, like I said, I'm not an onion fan. It, it's just a preference. Um, but it's not overpowering. You know, it actually gives the burger the right balance, uh, a, a perfect balance, you know, to make it taste like a burger, if that makes any sense. And... I mean, the burger's juicy. It's not dry. Okay. I see them working. All right. I'm going to set that one aside for now. Then we're going to go to the garlic butter bacon cheeseburger. Right when I open that wrapper, I could smell the garlic. It's not, it's not like really heavy, but 
but I can smell the garlic. Okay, so this is what we're working with right here. The garlic butter, bacon cheeseburger. Okay. Just drop that top, see how it's going. Okay, all right. They put like a, they put some serious mayonnaise on this thing. Whew. Yeah, you see your bacon, you see your grilled onions, you definitely see the mayonnaise, you see the cheese on top right there. All right. The first bite on this one, you know I gotta get a piece of the bacon. Right there, see that little bacon tongue right there. there you know same with the last one you know got a nice couple of bites um the onions are nicely sauteed bake is nice and crispy for fast food standards it is what it is you ain't like you're gonna get like some thick you know crispy bacon or whatever but for food you know fast food standards it is what it is but it's really good um the garlic flavor it's there but it's not really heavy. It has a nice balance. If um, nice and cheesy, a nice amount of cheese on there. Um, you know, as far as preference, is if anything, um, if I put mayonnaise on my burger, I like it, you know, light, light. So they could probably dumb down the mayonnaise a little bit, but this is a good burger. This is pretty good. I think between the two burgers with um, the garlic butter bacon cheeseburger and the hickory barbecue cheeseburger I like that garlic butter one a little bit better they're both good but I really like that garlic butter one Next up, got our pickle fries. Right there, you see the color. Let's get one out there for you. So it looks right there. Little, I mean, you can probably see like, um, let's see if I can. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to. And now let's see what I get, you know, see what it's like. All right. Let's see what we're working with. Pickle fries. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Now I'm gonna try with the ranch sauce. No, so I would, let me see. I don't know if this is gonna work, but uh, and I don't do much for it. But yeah, this is ranch sauce.
pickle slipper just came right up out of there. Look at that. All crisp. Mmm. Crunchy. Yeah. Now you might have been to Sonic, some of y'all might have been to Sonic already and tried these. And if you have, I mean, I'm pretty sure a lot of you was like, okay, all right. I see Sonic working right there. And then some of you might be like, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm good, I'm good. Me, they're not bad. They're, they're actually not bad. Um, it's, it's not a heavy, you, you can, um, excuse me. Sorry about that. Um, it's it's not a heavy dill pickle flavor, but you can taste the dill. Um, you like a yeah. I don't know. I take a bite into it, and always the the, the pickle sliver just comes out and it leaves you with a, a, a crunchy skin. That one's a little soggy there. Um, I mean, they're not bad. I mean, I see what Sonic was trying to do. Um, yeah, but, 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 I, but I think for me, um, I don't know if this is up my alley. So I would consider these pickle fries from Sonic OTO one time only. I said what I said. If you like it, though, that's your thing. You know, it's, yeah, I don't know. Maybe the batch was wrong. Um, maybe it's like um, something like a, a flavor you got to get used to. But you know, I'm cool. I'm cool. Probably should have regular fries. Let me get this rinse out of here. All right. And that leaves me with one more thing, which is... And I won't keep it much longer. Sorry for keeping you, but thank you for watching. Appreciate you. But we are going to end this with, you see, my 44 ounce, a cherry slushy with Nerds candy in it. It's the perfect drink for winter, isn't it? I'm gonna pop this open. Let me see. Um, see it's kind of tough. Um, now I'm looking at it. Um, you know what? I'm gonna I'm start up a little bit because I'm gonna see if I can show you some of these nerds that are in here. Let me see. Okay, there's a couple nerds on top. Hmm. Let's see. Okay, that might be as good as it's gonna get for now. Okay. You see now you see like that bright white dot right there. Well, I don't know if it's white, but that bright dot right there. And then you see another one right here. Yeah, that that's the nerds right there. And there's plenty more in it. There's plenty more in it. Um all right. Mm. Ooh. Now, the final act. Cheers. Mm. Oh. Let me hit that again.
Wow. Where have you been all my life? I, I, I explained earlier my history with Sonic and how it, I don't go there as much. And it's you know, usually when I'm craving fast food, it's usually down at the bottom of the list. This is my first time. I kid you not. Trying a cherry slushy from Sonic. Actually, no, 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 no. I take that back. I take that back. I take that back. I had a cherry slushy from there one time, but this is the first time I've had it with Nerds Candy. <sighs> Just the, the the way I'm trying to describe it is the, the the flavors of the cherry, you know, combined with with the nerds. When when I drink, there's just something euphoric about this, and it's just it just blows my mind away every time I sip on this and just you know have these flavors going through my mouth. Pause. Mm. Mm. Oh my God, nice and cool. The cherry has not a super tart, but the perfect tart to it. That'll play with your taste buds. And then with the Nerds Candy, might be multiple flavors of Nerds Candy, but I mean, when you're trying to chew this, you know, with, with the with the slushy ice, it, woo! Man, where have you been all my life? I think I know what my new favorite drink is going to be during the summertime. Cherry slushy with the Nerds. Mmm. Mmm. This makes my taste buds sing. Especially when you got the, 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 the cherry flavor and the nerds going through the straw. It just hits different. Now, now, now I see how why some of you like these slushies and like putting nerds in them. Ooh, wee. Yeah, I think I found a new thing. Mm. Alright. I don't want to spend the rest of this video drinking that because I feel like finishing and I don't want to keep up with your time. But um yeah, that's pretty much it. Um overall, yeah, the burgers were pretty decent for the most part. The star for me, even though, well, the stars were the burgers. I mean, that was one of the reasons why I did this. But this gets a special shout out right here. This gets a special shout out right here. Now, as for the pickle fries, eh, eh, maybe the next batch will be better if I do decide to try it again. But, excuse me. I think that's like, this is the first review. Yeah. I mean, th this is the first review that I've done. And I've, I know I've only done a few of these. I think this is my fifth one, I believe. And this is the first item that I tried to where I wasn't feeling it. Now... And I'm not, I'm not trying to discourage you from getting them or whatever. And and if you have tried them and you like them, hey, cool. That's your thing. Wasn't the first impression with me. I, I'm just keeping it real. Again, OTO, one time only. Just keeping it real. And other than that, uh, that is all I got. And I want to thank you guys for... 
taking the time out of your day to watch this food review and you know, I, I appreciate your support and um, I'm sorry, I'm, I, I got blinked there for a second. You know, your suggestions, you know, about cameras, camera angles, um, microphones and, and, you know, and I hear you and I appreciate it. And like I said, uh, you know, working out the kinks with this, um, looking to, oh my goodness, sorry. <laughs> You know, I'm looking forward to, um, um, you know, upgrading the camera, maybe adding an extra camera, you know, to give multiple shot perspectives and, um, up, you know, definitely getting a microphone, um, you know, to add to the element of the show. And, you know, in the meantime, while I'm doing this, um, you know, because I feel like sometimes my delivery and giving you these reviews seems like a little bit spotty here and there and i feel like the more i do these the more i can iron out my kinks and get more comfortable with this so that way the more i do these the more you know everything will feel iron out and then i can just give you a straight shot without you know stumbling upon things but you know again i appreciate um i appreciate your patience and all this and your guidance like i said we're gonna get through this together you got me, I got you. And before I get up out of here, I know I've taken up enough of your time. Um, this is a little, like about a week late, but I found out last week that I am officially over 1,000 subscribers. And, you know, I, I've been in this YouTube game for 15 years, making videos, started making videos, you know, with the San Francisco 49ers. And... I started that in August of 2008, and then four months later, I had 100 subscribers, and which was a, a big accomplishment, well, for YouTube standards, you know, I was very, you know, happy that there were people out there that wanted to hear what I had to say about, you know, the San Francisco 49ers, um, and you know, along the journey, the first five years, you know, I was more into it. And then, you know, life happens, got divorced, going through some things in my life. And, you know, I was doing videos sporadically here and there. Now I'm at the level where I'm just trying to get back to it and not just do my San Francisco 49ers video, but also do these you know, food reviews and, you know, try to step up my game and try to, you know, try to expand on my horizons because I love doing these YouTube videos, getting on here and just speaking my mind, you know, whether it's about the 49ers or sports or food and, um, you know, to find out that I finally, I mean, after 15 years, reaching 1,000 subscribers, I, it's just like, wow. And so I feel I have, you know, because there's so many people out there that are subscribed to me and or, and, or you know, support what I do or, and like, you know, seeing videos like this. And again, thank you. So, you know, my mission is to, you know, to keep this going. And, you know, just pretty much, you know, just grow my channel as much as I can, uh, you know, get more comfortable doing these, you know, food reviews and we'll see what happens. You know, we'll see what happens. So again, that's all I got. I done took up like a half hour of your time, but again, you know, thank you for taking the time for, um, for my Sonic review. You know, if you get a chance, you know, go check out. You know, go check out their burgers, uh, the Hickory Barbecue Cheeseburger, the Garlic Butter Bacon Cheeseburger. You got your pickle fries, and then, you know, you got your slushies and your lime in and all that. So, you know, if you had Sonic, yeah, go check it out. So, until then, I will get with y'all next time. And if I don't talk to you guys, you know, before Christmas, Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah, happy Kwanzaa, happy Festivus, all that good stuff, whatever you whatever you celebrate. 
uh, you know, happy holidays and I will get with y'all next time. Be safe. Late.